Junior, welcome back to my channel here at Horsepower Warehouse. We are going three for three this week on the videos. I am on Wednesday, third video. If you guys like this continued content, please hit the like and subscribe. Help support my channel. I really appreciate it. Today we're going to dive right into the reveal of this bad boy right here. If you guys have been watching the channel previously, thank you first and foremost. You may recognize this car. This is the foam car. So you if you saw previously, I had a little bit of a struggle when I did to do, when I did to do, when I did the body off. You never say more stupid stuff than when you hit the record button on the camera, I'm gonna flow with it. We did the body off. This thing was absolutely packed with foam to the tune of something like three or four 55 gallon garbage cans full of expanding foam. So this one is adoringly called the foam car. There is not a lick of foam on the car right now. It is fresh back from paint. My painter, Josh, did a, such a fantastic job on this car. He spent a little over 400 hours to accomplish what you guys are seeing here. So if you saw previously, this car was actually in an accident of some form in all four corners. This one had, the front end was really mangled. And when I say mangled, I'm referring to this area. So the parking lights in the front were aiming, not straight, but out on both sides. The purpose of this video is not only to show you guys this car, because I'm super excited to have it back. I'm not really allowed to touch it for a solid two weeks. It's got to outgas, so I can't wax it. I can't seal it. I'm not supposed to put any fingerprints on it. I need to just let it kind of be here. Um, if I put anything on top, then I'm stopping the solvents from getting out of the paint. This is a fresh, brand new paint job. He does heat cure it but it still is best, much like a concrete job. When you pour a slab, you need to let it cure for a certain amount of time. It's just best for everything. So I do that. What did Josh do fantastic on? Well, what didn't he do fantastic on this paint job? So let's look at all the gaps around the headlights. Absolutely perfect. The gap around the hood itself is absolutely fantastic. Let's go look at the doors. So looking from the side, look at the profile of the gap all the way down. It is so much better than you would find from Chevrolet in the 60s. Look at that. Unreal. Unreal how, how absolutely gorgeous that is. And watch the door. I know I'm not supposed to touch it. Sorry, Josh. So the inside, of course, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But watch this, click, click, just, man. I, I would usually do my one finger thing, but I, I can't touch the paint right now, but it's effortless to close this door. Around the deck lid, gaps are fantastic. If we look at the actual line going down the side of the car, it's not overly sharp. It's got the perfect edge going all the way through, all the way to the front. This car before, this line was, was not nearly that crisp. I mean, man, this is what I look for. Going up underneath, all the way to the bottom. There is paint all the way up beyond this line, right? Same thing for, let's sneak our way to the front. Inside of the grill, all the way back, there's paint in there. Bottom side of everything. Let's get real low all the way back paint is just it's beautiful under here right no dry spots no haziness he did not skimp no one likes to get down here when you're a painter you're holding a gravity fed gun so when you tip it up to go from below all your paint goes to the back so it, it's a real pain to do this thank you josh all of the edges are just gorgeous all the way in now, this is going to be covered anyhow, but he paints it just to seal it. He, I mean, can you guys critique this? Probably not. You can say, okay, there's orange peel in the paint. This car has not been cotton buffed. So 
uh, we ask that he goes a little bit heavy on the clear coat, gives us some to cut and buff. That way we have plenty of clear after we've smoothed it. Fantastic. I wish this was my car because it would be so easy to sell with a paint job like this. Um, this is a customer's restoration. So man, congratulations to the, the family that owns this car. They deserve it because this car has a really cool history. Um, I'm excited to go further into that as we get into the, the final stage of the build. You can see all this is gonna be completely gutted. Man, beautiful. But <laughs> can't touch it for like a solid two weeks. So we are gonna let that sit there and marinate with the do not touch sign on it. And uh, make sure you guys stay tuned for future content because so excited to show you the final step of that build. We're gonna knock it out of the park. You can see my wife's camera here. I am wet sanding and buffing the front, getting it prepared for sale. Fun fact, this is actually the first car that I have purchased brand new off the lot. I bought it with seven miles. We picked it up with our tow truck actually so I could bring it home and ceramic coat it. This thing has never spent a night outside. It has, uh, by my rough calculations, received about 250 hand washes by me. That's every single weekend. It's never been through an automatic wash. I treated this car like a Bugatti. And why? Because it was literally my first brand new car I bought off the lot. I bought this for my wife. This is kind of how I, I treat my family. I, I don't mind driving an older truck as long as I can put my wife in something that she wanted. She picked this out. This was a special order color. I'm not a, a salesman. I'm not trying to sell you guys on this vehicle. I'm just so proud of, this thing's got 82,000 miles on it and it's still gorgeous. Of course, I'm wet sanding and, and buffing the front because here in Florida, um, we do have the love bug season. She's a nurse. She drives this full time. Man, love bug season. I was washing this thing three, three times a week just to keep the bugs off the front. But after a buff, all the little bit of marks that were on it are coming out. This is what happens, guys, when you take care of a car its entire life. It stays nice. Got to wash it every weekend. Got to use high-end sealants. I've probably buffed this car a few times in its life. Maintaining, maintenance, maintenance. <laughs> like I said, you never say more silly stuff than when you light up that camera with the record button. I, I'm comfortable with you guys. I thank you guys so much for watching my goofy channel. Let's make our way into the shop. I want to show you something else. This was the last video. You can see the Marlboro cars on the lift. We had an inspector. Car drives absolutely beautifully, by the way, for having bias plies on it. I drove it yesterday. That thing, really nicely driving car. Side pipe car. Like I mentioned um, yesterday, this one was pretty much complete yesterday. We we're still waiting on the rear panel here on paint. It takes a while to correctly paint it. Let's see if we can fire this thing up. I want you guys to hear. So one pump. What do I look for when I fire up a Corvette? First and foremost, oil pressure. I wanna make sure that the battery gauge is moving to indicate that it's actually charging. This car, of course, is completely cold. It does have fuel in it. What you doing, Sean? <laughs> Everyone scatters when I point the camera at them. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, this one is a dead cold car, so I'm not gonna rev it up too high or anything, but. side pipes really I have a preference for the side pipes just being honest with you guys I like it it's not oh this one's got brand new gaskets in it so it's still a little tight on the, the closure there hey Mike what you doing bud YouTube wants to see you sanding you cleaning engine bay looking nice looking very nice a lot of work in prepping the engine bay um 64 365 horse check it out this is what i've been doing today how do you 
uh, how do you describe something that came out, you know, night and day difference, right? Man, absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> if I can summon up some sort of editing skills, I will overlay the before and after. Um, no, no promises. You might, guys might have to watch my previous content to see what this looked like before. I can promise you it looked nothing like this. So very excited to have the engine bay done. I did run this car yesterday. So for all intensive purposes, this is, is done, done under here. So man, I'm so proud of that. Looks fantastic. Interior is getting worked on tomorrow. You can see we have a brand new shifter there, a brand new shift boot. I have the, the actual retainer. Um, I media blasted it and painted it. So we're gonna be scraping, doing sound and thermal insulation. Then the new carpet kit, you can see the carpet kit is there. You can see our next customer, 64, is getting ready to have the frame off. Um, future content, I'm not gonna spoil any surprises on that one. This one, I did get shipping confirmation on air conditioning, thank the Lord. Actually, over two months ago, I called Vintage and Classic Auto Air and got estimates for timelines on having a kit built for AC2. They both gave me very loose timelines. They said no promises, uh, 10 weeks or greater is effectively what they both told me. I ordered both kits, one from Vintage, one from Classic Auto Air. Classic Auto just banged my credit card and thank God they're gonna be sending it this week. So this car is getting Classic Auto Air. I don't know when the Vintage Air is gonna come in. I've installed both. I prefer the Classic Auto Air personally. Seanathan over here likes the Vintage Airs. So they're both fantastic kits, needless to say. He's over here finishing this car. Again, I'm not gonna spoil any secrets because we are super close to having this one done. Absolutely fantastic, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I am going to do my best to continue the content this week. If we can go five for five, that will be a record for me. If you can thank me by maybe consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons, that's the, the best way to support this channel and tell me thank you. Um, comment down below what you guys think. I, I read everything, so thank you guys so much for joining me. See you guys tomorrow. Take care.